Next, The Beatles' Abbey Road is one of the most famous album covers ever created. And whilst it does the job of keeping the dust off, some see it as a work of art in itself. But with the increase in downloading, have designs like this had their day? Six Music's Rodrigo Davis has had his ear to the ground for E24. Albums by Oasis, Paul Weller, The Who and The Beatles have had some of the most iconic artwork ever made, some of which was created by renowned pop artist Sir Peter Blake, the man who also brought us the design for Sgt Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. Forty years on, that inspired the cover for Oasis' Stop the Clocks. Noel and Liam were such fans of the Beatles, so they approached me and then Noel came to the studio and pretty much we just walked around and he said, I like that, I like that, and we, we, we had everything carried into the kitchen and just kind of built it there and then. This week, Peter Blake launches a new collaboration with Brian Wilson, a collection of artwork to go with the former Beach Boys' latest album, That Lucky Old Son. But is there still a need for such elaborate work when technology means everything is shrinking? Music's gone from 12-inch vinyl to CDs and tapes, and now in the digital age, it barely has a physical form at all. So does that mean the idea of pictures to go with music is dead? Well, not quite. Back in 2006, Apple began to make a virtue out of artwork again with Coverflow. It allows music fans to browse the collection as if it were right in front of them. Now the company reckons it can take things one step further. With iTunes LP, music fans get extra features when they buy an album, typically created by the artists themselves. That can include lyrics, photos and even videos. I think the attempt by Apple to give music lovers something more is, is brave but not ultimately successful. Um, the, the people who are really fans of an artist, I think still want physical objects, actually do want you know, printed out things to have with them and having a digital copy of the music isn't enough. Vaughan Oliver has been making artwork for indie label 4AD for nearly 20 years and is now seeing excitement from students who are discovering this artwork for the first time. After lectures, you get the fans that have kind of collected all the stuff and know what you're talking about from the first time you open your mouth. And then there are kind of new people that come up and just say, I'd never thought of music packaging like that. Recently, Vaughan designed a box set for the back catalogue of alternative rock pioneers, the Pixies, and thinks there's plenty of demand from fans who want to experience music in a physical form. So, far from the days of album art being over, it could have a new lease of life. If you give people something that's been well presented and well packaged, then they're going to cherish it, and they'll come back for more.